الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبة في الله Ibn al-Qayyum, he says, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, he says, so the means are there with Allah's wisdom. So here he's talking about the importance of true talk of Allah is putting your trust, your heart, leaving your heart and your full trust with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and, your, and by making efforts, physical efforts to attain something. He says, so the means are there with Allah's wisdom and in accordance with his commands and his religion and tawakkul is connected to his lordship and his ordainment and decree. So worship, servitude, al-ubudiyah, along with the means will not be established except when founded upon tawakkul. Nor will tawakkul be established except built upon servitude, worship, and Allah, the one free of all imperfections and the most high, knows best. That is high powered. And this is how you see those ulama sunnah, like Imam Ibn al-Qayyum, and Shaykh al-Salam ibn Taymiyyah wa ghayrihim kathir You see that these Imams They're fiqh fi deen How they understood Look at how Ibn al-Qayyum Is relating And illustrating And highlighting That Tawakkul On Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, Has a its relationship with the Qadr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is what we were talking about earlier. About, you know, not making ihtijaj bi Qadr. That you don't rely upon the Qadr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Or, or abuse the Qadr. By saying, oh, Qadr Allah. Oh, I just got in an accident. Qadr Allah. Well, you were driving reckless. Yes, it was the decree of Allah. It was the decree of Allah that you drove reckless as well. You're at fault. So ihtijaj bi Qadr is those people who abuse the Qadr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. By, you know, everything, they use the Qadr as an excuse. Oh, I committed zina last night. Qadr Allah. Oh, I drank alcohol about an hour ago. Mm, qadr Allah. Smoke a weed. Qadr Allah. This is how the ihtijaj bi Qadr. They are responsible. So that's why that is false to do this, uh, to have these practices and think that you're not responsible. La abidin. This is why understanding the Qadr, the decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is very important. And here Ibn al-Qayyim is mentioning the the uh, the importance or uh, you know the relationship between the two and he also mentioned about the that there's a relationship between that qadr That it has to do with the, uh, the, <clears throat> the uluhiya of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Lord, uh, the rububiya, sorry, the lordship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that he cre uh, decreed everything, and that he subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. So this is very important that we have this, this understanding of tawakkul and that our heart is, is grounded with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, then he also mentioned that, so he said, so worship servitude al ubudiyah along with the means will not be established except when founded upon tawakkul. So that uluhiya, the uh, 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 ubudiya, we, uh, and uluhiya, that you're not actualizing that except through that it's an act of worship. That means you're worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That you're putting your trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you're making those actions. So you're using the actions, but you're at the same time, you're actually doing an act of worship because you are putting your trust in Allah. And that's, uh, that's an act of ibadah. Tawakkul is an act of ibadah. It's ibadah qalbiyah. It's a, it's a worship that has to do with the heart. And he said, then he mentions the third level. 
said the third level that the heart is firmly grounded upon tawakul based upon tawheed. So here, Ibn al-Qayyim, again, affirming that these actions, these actions of ibadah, they're all about actualizing tawheed. Your tawakul has to do with tawheed. Why? Because tawakul is an act of ibadah. And who do we worship alone? We worship Allah Azza wa Jal. So there's ibadah. And that it's also, it's a fi'l qalbiyya, or it's, a, it's an action of the heart. It's an action of the heart. So he says, since a servant's tawakal will not be sound until his tawheed is correct, indeed the reality of tawakal is the attainment of tawheed by the heart. Mm -hmm. So as long as his heart contains connections with shirk, then his tawakal will be weak and defective. And in accordance with the purity of his tawheed will be the soundness of his tawakal. So whenever a servant turns towards other than Allah, then this diversion will take away one of the parts of his heart. So his reliance upon Allah will be decreased in accordance with the size of that part of his heart. This is what led some people to think that tawakkul will not be correct unless the means are rejected. So now you see he's explaining how those extreme Sufis and others how they came to their belief because they began to reject the asbab. They said, hey, that's not real tawakal. That's not real trust in Allah. If you're still making actions, real tr trust in Allah. Let me give away all my provisions, walk in the desert and wait for my Lord to deliver food. And that shows real Iman. Look at how many stories, if you look at Jamaat Tablik, if you look in some of their books, how many stories do they have similar to this? where they're talking about, and you hear people mentioning these kind of stories. But what are they doing? They're showing their imperfect, imperfect Tawheed. They're showing the nuks in their belief. They're showing that, hey, they're saying, hey, we want to show that we really believe in Allah, so let's get rid of the asbab. La, Allah didn't order you with this. The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam didn't order you with this, but rather Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala told us, look at Surah Al-Jumu'ah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned that we should go throughout the earth searching for a rizq. After Salat. And so it shows us the importance that we have to fi'l asbab and not go astray and keep our tawheed sound, which then in turn keeps our tawakkul sound, bi'idhni lahi ta'ala. So he says, Subha. he says, so whenever a person turns towards other than Allah, then this diversion will take away part of, uh, one of the parts of his heart. So his reliance upon Allah will be decreased in accordance in, with the size of that part of his heart. This is what led some people to think that tawakul will not be correct unless the means are rejected. This is true, but right, by rejecting them with the heart, not with the limbs, so tawakkul is not correct by rejecting the causes with the heart whilst attaching one's limbs to them. So he will be both separated from them and connected to them and Allah, the one free of all imperfections and the most high, knows best. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam. Ala Muhammad. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.